let me just get there feels like ish and now she's going to make it big with jawan and uh, in case if you watched the songs in dabanda she's one of the front line dancers and she's prolific and i would also use this word for her uh, singing speed so let me introduce sanjita bhattacharya to you hi sanjita hi welcome to india today thank Adore. you so much and today we are going to speak about jawan your singing stints and so much more so from feels like ishq your first long form acting ott show to jawan tell us everything about tell us okay let's let's start with the prep okay so i mean like you said i began my stint in acting at all in uh, october 2020 and uh, that was my first ad within like 3 months after doing three ads i got cast for feels like ishq in december 2020 now between december 2020 till the release of feels like ishq i did a few more ads and uh, feels like ishq released i think uh, july 2021 a month later i got cast for jawan and i was in kolkata at the time i uh, was there for a show like a music gig and i got a call from uh, mukesh chhabra sir's office who's the casting director for the film and uh, they asked you know are you going to be in bombay anytime soon and i said no actually why what's up and then they said well we are casting for a film we can't tell you much about it but whenever you're planning on coming to bombay soon let us know come to the office and audition for the film and i was like sounds great incidentally a week later i got a gig in bombay so i went there uh the day after my gig i went to mukesh chhabra sir's office i auditioned quite nonchalantly i didn't know much about the project what i was auditioning for to be honest it's one of the best things to happen to you because if you don't know what you're auditioning for there's no pressure you're just <laughs> you know like you're doing what you're doing and without having any kind of uh, preconceived notions about who is going to watch it and you know what's it for so i auditioned and uh, a week later i got a call again from their office now i was in delhi back home and they said well you know you've been you you've been locked for the role i was like all right can you tell me something more about the project they were like yeah um well we haven't named the project yet but uh, the um it has an a lister it's like okay <laughs> what is an a lister because i was like i was still very much a musician right i didn't even know what a lister meant then they were like a lister sharukh khan and i was like <laughs> what <laughs> what's going on hello is this what is this i looked at my mother and i was like they're saying i got cast in a film with charu khan she's like again like the same reaction you know <laughs> so it i mean not every day you get a call and you're you know it's basically like living millions of people's got dream Absolutely. it you know so many people dream of this happening and this was happening to me and uh, i was ecstatic i um, and uh, yeah we we were like fighting there were we, there were like stunts people we were learning how to hold guns and shoot and it was insane and uh, of course i can't disclose much about my role per se but uh, sadly that was going to be my next question <laughs> <laughs> no i i i can't tell you what my role exactly is but it's in uh, sharukh sir's core team um you know the once the girls that you see in zinda banda dancing right up front this that's the six of us and uh, yeah how does it feel like when you say i'm in sharukh khan's core team <laughs> surreal i mean <laughs> i don't know how the thing is i know it's quite dream like but at the same time i've been in it for like 2 years so right now when i say it i say it like it is but when it was happening for the first time it was quite insane to me uh, because when he walked into set and um, you know you could feel the whole set was on edge suddenly and you know there was a, there's sometimes a lot of pressure that you put on yourself that you can't mess up in front of you know uh, someone like that someone who is so uh, experienced and iconic you know but he made everyone feel so much at ease i didn't once feel um you know um what do you say like scared or anything i was just 
doing my thing and i think he made us all feel very comfortable on set and very at ease that was beautiful and uh, yes it was a very friendly environment i have to say and um, atli sir as well you know he's quite young um he's maybe like 10 years older than us or maybe 12 uh, so it was very like easy um atmosphere on set for sure okay yeah so sanjita did you get to uh, uh, let if this is a spoiler we'll understand but uh, <laughs> do you do you share screen space with nayanthara and even if you don't want to talk about it hmm. how was it like working with her um so yes to answer your question i do um and it was amazing first of all to see a woman in power is always incredible she is um like a woman of power like like she commands respect like when she walks up on set everyone is like she's here you can feel it there's an aura you know and i really love that i really love that because a lot of times women are um you know a little bit timid you know or just don't speak their mind but nanayan thara ma'am is you know says it like it is and uh, extremely humble i think one thing that i take away from um you know these incredibly successful people is that with incredible success comes massive amounts of humility and um that is what i took away from you know working with these amazing amazing talented actors and priya mani too oh yeah she is such a sweetheart oh my gosh she is such a sweetheart um so us six girls we became like family you know over the course of the whole shoot we are so tight you know in real life it's so hard to find um i i think mukesh chhabra sir has done an incredible job at casting all of us together because we are such good friends you know in i i consider some of them my best friends now you know we we uh, go out for lunches we you know make plans together we are always on the same page about most things we share our highs and lows and uh, all our frustration and angst plus all our joys together and it's amazing to be on the same boat and priyamani has just pillu <laughs> let's say pillu has been so just like such a great uh, person to like have around because she would always have like you know little advice again to like give uh especially to someone like me um it's it's a gift you know to have someone who i can just call upon and be like hey i need help can you help me out can you tell me how to do this better or can you um is there another way i could do it and she would be like there and she has years of experience she's a national award winner like what what could you ask for you know it's amazing and about working with atli yeah tell us about it well i feel like atli sir is such a visionary you know um Atli sir and uh, the DOP Vishnu sir, G K Vishnu, they make such an incredible team together. I mean, if you see the preview of the film, the trailer, the preview, the song that's just released, it looks so magnificent. It looks massive and larger than life. To execute something of that, you know, uh, magnanimity is. incredible and um, i think atli sir was also like super friendly um very very kind he knew that you know this was for example my first film so he was super kind he was also uh very sweet when he found out that you know i'm a musician and that i i i once like sang for all of them and since then it was like an ice breaker you know he would often um like go over we would go over some songs together and i feel like he's a visionary not only in terms of what he sees but also what he hears so i feel like there's a lot of f like thought that has gone into the music um by anirudh and i feel like atli sir also has a lot of like role to play in that it is not everyone and not every day that one gets to make the acting debut with a pan india project yeah and with jawan if i may say so now uh the path ahead is not very it's it's kind of challenging for you because you've started off on such a high note right <laughs> and uh, now that you're debuting with the pan india film will you focus be towards south cinema or hindi cinema it really depends on who notices and who reaches out i 
I'm down to do anything that sparks my interest and anything that, again, like has like something strong to say, like a like a message to say. I love Indian cinema, and I say Indian cinema, not Bollywood, because I love whatever is coming out of the entirety of the country. There's a lot of beautiful cinema that's coming out of South, and there's different kinds of woods, <laughs> you know, down South. Then there's Bengali film, then there's Bollywood. I my focus is on anything that um, resonates with me. So okay. I, I I don't want to focus on a particular thing. Saying "mujhe sir Bollywood karna hai," I mean I'm equally uh, present here for like Tamil cinema or Malayalam even, you know, or Bengali. Very yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so San uh, Sanjita, now we are slightly going to drift towards your singing stint. Sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're an you're a Grammy nominated uh, singer. Yes. Uh, I mean I was part of an album called Shuruat. that was nominated for the 2023 grammys and the al- the ensemble the berkeley in ensemble was nominated and i'm part of the ensemble <laughs> thank you also oh, did you happen to perform in front of ar rahman by any chance yeah we performed with him in um 2015 in boston symphony hall at this concert that was titled um ar rahman meets berkeley so we performed a lot of songs from his discography um and we basically arranged it for the whole ensemble and we performed it for him with him and the song that he played with us was uh, vande mataram oh yeah good song <laughs> very much so i've never <laughs> felt more patriotic <laughs> like it was gorgeous imagine like singing to a like crowd of 5000 people of course like and you're not in india you've not been in india for like 3 years because i was in college and there's like 5000 people a lot of them are indians and you're singing with like people from all over the world and everyone singing vande mataram goosebumps 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 <laughs> <laughs> you're like oh, this a country it was it was beautiful and because uh, sanjita was prolific like i mentioned <laughs> we would want her to hum us have a little tune from uh, any shahrukh khan film would you do that for us yes i mean a lot of the movies that he's been a part of has incredible music so Let's see. This is for Shah Rukh Khan. This is for Shah Rukh Khan. Ek suraj nikla tha, kuch para pigla tha. Ek aandhi aayi thi, jab dil se aah nikli thi, dil se re. दिल तो आखिर दिल है ना मीठी सी मुश्किल है ना पिया 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 ना पिया जिया 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 ना जिया दिल से रे दिल से रे दिल से रे दिल से रे Can you not stop? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> And with this we come to an end of our conversation. It was wonderful wonderful speaking to you Sanjita. Same here. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so And much. And we are very me. sure Jawan is going to be a super hit and I'll get to speak to you in the more 10 20000 of gazillion of films that you're going to soon come. Wow, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. आपका बिजनेस खतरे में है जी हाँ योर बिजनेस 